What is up, my viewers? Um, if I <laughs> here I am bringing you another World of Tanks gameplay commentary. This time, user submitted, uh, viewer submitted, whatever you want to call it. And as you can tell, uh, he's playing in his SUA on Arctic Region Standard Battle, which I'm pretty sure is the only type of battle on Standard on uh, Arctic Region. Uh, his in-game name is BZT. Uh, I'm not really sure how you would say B E A Z T. I'm not really sure how to say that properly, so I'm just going to refer to him as the other alias I know him by, which is part of his Gmail name. I'm not going to, or uh, his email name, which I'm not going to give you the full thing of. Why would I do that? But I will refer to him from this point on as SOCOM. Um, just so much easier to say. Now, I paused it because this game started at the 7 second mark, <laughs> and I managed to catch it. But as I was saying before, if I sound a little uh, less energetic this time, this is because this is my third time watching this. First time I watched it just as a preliminary, second time I tried to commentate on it, but for some reason it didn't, it stopped recording, like, within the first 30 seconds and I didn't catch it. Uh, but yeah, right here he's running over that debris in his base, you know, always a strong advocate of that. And the uh, right here they're talking about the merits of tank of uh, artillery playing as a tank destroyer. Now, <laughs> I'm not really a huge fan of that. Yes, it becomes necessary at times, but I don't really prefer it. M41 and our friend Socom here going for the same spot. Uh, the M41 kind of upset about not getting it. And uh, yeah, I can't blame him. Okay, let me just uh, increase mini map size here there we go now you can see everything on the mini map with ease right here SU-152 getting spotted really early in the match but our friend will lead the target and right away boom <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite the uh, SU-152 getting destroyed from full health down to nothing SU-8 saying uh, the M41 saying our friend SOCOM stole his kill <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. M41. I didn't see your name on it, nor did I see you do any damage to it. That was, by all rights, our friend Socom's kill. And <laughs> saying, suck my big gun, M41. Basically laughing out loud at that as well. Right here, leading the target on that French art, on that French TD. Basically just walking him into it perfectly. The Frenchie saying, wow, so lucky SU-8, the M41 agreeing with him, and our friend here will say, not luck, correction, it is skill. I have to admit, there is some skill involved in that. Now, leading the target and let it, walking your enemy into your shells, especially when they don't become unspotted, that does take some skill. But there's always, uh, no matter how good you are with artillery, there is always a factor of luck. Um, but <laughs> you probably called it, he called him a French croissant, uh, and that's why I love this guy, just because, you know, he is, I like him for his attitude, uh, <laughs> he just says some of the most hilarious things. The Frenchie saying, skill, you have 400 deficiency, well, one thing you have to notice here, this guy, he's playing World of Tanks at 5, 6, 7 frames per second, so... Uh, forgive, uh, forgive me if I'm a little skeptical of his efficiency reflecting his true skill. Yes, I'm aware of efficiency ratings. He's killing that KV-1S right there. Um, if you were paying attention to the mini map a few seconds earlier, you would see a medium was trying to rush his base. Uh, VK-3601H, you can see it in the kill feed, but he was stopped dead in his tracks, quite literally. And, <laughs> see? Get it? Tanks have tracks. And he's dead. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Uh, IS and IS going blow for blow there. Panzer three, Panzer four, having a complete death wish, just com blitzing around this corner, uh, trying to be a distraction, I'm guessing, uh, and pretty much getting himself killed. The enemy IS will basically trying to get some more shots off, but uh, the M41 saying time for TD mode, and oh my gosh, this this M41. I'm not sure why he felt the urge to go TD mode, but it is really not the smart option at this point. Forgive me, but it isn't. Oh, good solid hit on that T-43 from our SOCOM friend here. And, uh, oh, right there, a tank destroyer sneaking around the back of his team, causing them to be in quite a... Uh, Unfortunate circumstance, SOCOM's team pushing the west side. Now that 
that push will go less than uh, <laughs> less than ideal for his team. The Tiger eliminating that tank destroyer, trying to get a flank on his team. But again, I, I go back to the S-51. I mean, not the S-51. Completely different artillery, the M-41. I don't know why he felt the urge to play tank destroyer. Really, he, that, that was a poor decision on his part. That was probably the worst decision he could have made. That M41 could have easily sat back in the Alpha 9, Alpha 0 quadrants, supported the South uh, the way artillery is supposed to support your team, which is from a distance, um, basically from spots the enemy team has no idea where you are and they can't shoot you. But instead, he pushes up and he actually limits where he can shoot now. He significantly, significantly limits where he can shoot. That M41 just getting completely decimated. Um, as you can see, the Western push has now been completely stopped. So his team has really nothing on the Western flank. They have that SU-152 watching to make sure the enemy team doesn't really come off their, come from their side. But his team still ahead in this match. Uh, the Tiger taking a shot there, getting himself hurt. Him taking a shot at IS, splashing him for really nothing. The IS on his team being completely completely overly aggressive especially for the amount of health he had left and blitzing out there just getting himself killed being completely useless basically Leroy Jenkins the hell out of his tank charged forward with complete disregard good amount of damage right there I'm not sure how much of that was actually his but uh, the IS very hurt on the enemy team now Probably mostly a, it's it's almost a guaranteed one shot if you get a direct hit from anyone on his team um, Teams fairly even at this point the enemy team has a slight advantage But it is still winnable and again if that m41 had been in the north supporting his team as he should be uh, He would easily he I think our friends team SOCOM's team would be ahead at this point but as it stands, that is not the case. The B1, that heavy tank that was in the middle, a B1, a tier 4 heavy tank. And I think it's the lowest tier heavy tank out there. And it really wasn't that much of a force for his team. It wasn't really that valuable of a tank for his team. So it's not a huge loss. Uh, the BK, the, the, if you were paying attention to the chat earlier, the Tiger was blaming the VK for his death. Basically saying the VK got behind him, blocked him, and that was what allowed the Tiger to get shot because he couldn't back up as much as he needed to. The M41 saying it's time to hide, um, letting, telling the VK, hey, let them come to us. We are losing. Let the enemy team come to us where we are strongest rather than trying to push an advantage we don't have. The M41 saying he can derp them both. He is absolutely right. But that AMX M4, you will discover later, is uh, actually not in the south and not on that southern corner anymore. The AMX M4 is actually going to try to be a little sneaky here. Um, in fact, I'm not sure. I think that B1 may have spotted him, but I'm not sure. I can't recall at what point that happened in this game. Now, that M41, again, playing way too aggressive for an artillery. Uh, I... I I've said it once, I'll say it again, artillery, yes, it can function as a tank destroyer. Do you want to use it as a tank destroyer? No, because that is not, it's not really effective there. Now our friend, the Hummel getting spotted, which means I'm almost certain that Hummel has spots on them. Our friend here trying to take the shot, but misses, sadly, which will allow the Hummel to take a shot on his allies in the south, which will, right here, eliminate this M41, which like I said, he shouldn't have been there in the first place. <laughs> the M41 giving the laughing face. And our friend eliminating that Hummel because that Hummel did not feel it prudent to move. Now, if I was that Hummel after taking that shot, I probably would have been hauling my tank somewhere else. Uh, the SU-150, uh, SOCOM here repositioning to a better location. Now, if you saw, he was in the bush. Um, you, that doesn't really hide your tank that well. For those of you who are unaware, you want to be behind the bush. Now, <laughs> it, it, it's really just uh, the Hummel saying totally worth it. Not really, in my opinion. The Hummel on their team doing better than the M41 on his team. The VK, the IS saying the VK must be new. It's possible. The VK uh, not really playing all too great, but you know what? <laughs> SOCOM saying, I can't hear you from the bottom of the team list. Uh, but anyway, there he is again, hiding in the bush. Um, 
uh, you know, he's doing a good job. Here we go. That uh, Amex, like I said, he was going to try to be sneaky, go around the side. And our friend will try to eliminate him here. But as you will see very shortly, he'll take a shot right there and he will miss. So Amex moving up on his team, at the, on his base at this point, putting our friend in a very unfortunate situation. Now he is going to have to go TD mode. And like I said, the, he's calling back to base, which is a good call. Our, our friend here has been playing very well, especially for at six frames per second. And there he is in the bush. Friend, you need to be behind that bush if you want to hide. Please, 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 please. Tankers, be behind the bush. And the bush does not nearly hide your tank as well. In fact, I think it eliminates pretty much the majority of the camo bonus if your tank is sticking out of the bush in any way. Um, I could be mistaken, but hey, rather safe than sorry. <laughs> so right here is trying to go tank destroyer mode uh, at five frames per second. Yeah, good luck doing that, my friend. Um, so he's actually choosing to move at this point, recognizing the fact enemy artillery is probably sighting in on him. So he's making some good calls here, uh, the best he can. He called back to base for that SU-152, who is fully upgraded, or at least he's fully upgraded in the gun, which we all know, if you've watched any of my replays, the SU-152 is a force to be reckoned with, especially against fellow Tier 7s, um, which is why I was so happy when he took out there the enemy team's SU-152, which also had that upgraded gun, eliminating a significant danger from the field early on. More than if he had done nothing else the rest of this round, he would have easily done his part for his team. But everything he's done since then has been pulling up slack. Right here, he's running over some things. I do not advise that ever if, if you know enemy artillery is looking for you please don't start running over things and letting them know where you are now he might be playing some mind games with the enemy artillery which intentionally trying to mislead him i can get behind that to an extent but you're also playing a very dangerous game at that point and if you mess up or that enemy artillery shell veers off like i said arty uh, it involves a lot of luck so if that shell veers off and happens to hit where you were going by some pure chance of fate um it's it, you you played a dangerous game and you lost now right here the su-152 has two decisions either play, switch to a fully defensive posture playing to not lose as i like to say it or uh go on the offensive and blitz that enemy base find that enemy already get on the enemy team's capture point and and basically play to win and I have to agree with SOCOM here, that SU-152 has to do something. His, that SU-152 and his current position is not in a good spot to really do much of anything because he cannot spot enemy tanks on his base from that, from that far away. I know from personal experience. Um, right here, the Og Pants are getting shot once by him, but he is now hiding behind the husk of his dead AMX friend there. Um, and <laughs> right there, case in point, our friend not hiding behind the bush so he got spotted um but that situation was backwards anyway the uh, the tank destroyer was using the artillery to spot it's supposed to be the other way around now his team has made several poor calls at this point especially with that is pushing around that m41 just for some reason thinking it's a good idea to go to tank destroyer that su-152 should have moved to a different position such as alpha 8 that quadrant or even a, maybe even as far as south as Foxtrot 9, you know, one of those position, that S ISU 152, I have to agree with the M41 in the chat there, he says, he's meh, he's, 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 he's maybe average, probably even a little below average as a player, he's got three kills, but you can tell in this late game, he just let his team down, our friend, I mean, we all know, if I was driving that SU-152, this match would be over. We would, like, it wouldn't even be this close. I don't mean to brag, but if you've seen my SU-152 replays I put out, and there's quite a few out there, I just take people to school <laughs> so calm, raging in the chat, and I cannot blame him for being angry. He, I would be pissed, too. You know, it's just, he... he I definitely have those moments in the game where I'm like, I want those people's accounts to be deleted so they can start over and actually learn how to play. Uh, and I've come to the conclusion that some people buy their accounts off eBay because there are tier 10 players who don't know the first thing about playing this game. And I've seen it. Uh, the M41 saying too much porn uh, and you know, <laughs> due to the amount of swear words in SOCOM's rage. Uh, and SOCOM says, well, F your grandma. <laughs> 
the uh, SU-152, now, now he's playing to, he's still playing to not lose, but at least he's being aggressive rather than just hiding like a coward. Um, I, I have to at least admire that, even if he is a horrible player. And he's letting himself right here. He, he's standing still when he knows enemy artillery is sighting in on him, and that is what kills him. So, poor, t poor calls by his team. Um, our friend SOCOM doing more than his part. And the only advice I... He's got camel net on his artillery, so that's a good thing. But the main piece of advice I have to give to SOCOM is hide behind the bushes, friend. I, I guarantee you the enemy team will probably spot you less. Um, <laughs> and if you've got a shell rammer and gun laying drive on that already, that's, then you're golden. Uh, I don't know what else you have on that. And I also don't know if you're running premium, so I don't know if that uh, experience is premium. I, I'm assuming... No, but I have. It's hard to judge on a loss. It really is hard to judge uh, if someone's running premium or not on a loss. So, I, I guarantee you. I know you made profit. I know you made credits. I, I. There's no way you didn't. With the repair cost as low as that, and with the number of shells you fired, you certainly made a profit on a loss. Which, you know, props to you. Battle hero, the only person to get anything. That French Artie on the enemy team, so good job to him. You know, he was pulling his more than his weight too. But just poor calls by SOCOM's team. Um, SOCOM himself doing very well, but it, you know, it's just one of those things. Uh, you get on a bad team and you, you do your best and you pull more than your own weight and you still lose. And it's always frustrating. So I, I can just say, keep at it. Hey, man. and. Hey, SOCOM, you made me laugh. So, if you've got more stuff to send in, please send it in. Um, as long as there's something I can talk about, certainly give it to me for a look. Also, I'm sorry you have to play with less than 10 frames per second. Uh, that must be horrible. Um, if you, I love how many frames per second I get, but that's because I'm running a $600 video card. What can you do? Um... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I do video editing. It's a legitimate it's a, it's a legitimate excuse to have one. Anyway, I digress. If you like this video, click that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And uh, as always, if you got a replay like this guy, uh, send it to spangleplays at gmail.com. The link or email or whatever you want to call it will be in the underbar description thing or bob. And as always, this is Spang signing off.